Did you know that the most disturbing and peculiar weapons of mass murder and unbearable human torture were used during World War II? One of the deadliest bombs ever detonated, the M69 incendiary bomb, also known as the Tokyo Calling Card, contained napalm and thermite mixtures that could ignite buildings and human flesh simultaneously. Welcome to History on Fleek. Today we discover the scary truth about the sinister web of history's 10 most horrible weapons used in World War II. World War II stands as a haunting testament to the depths of human cruelty and the staggering loss of life. With a death toll surpassing 70 million, this global conflict inflicted suffering in countless ways, as different forces unleashed an array of weapons upon the world. From the lethal efficiency of the gas chambers in concentration camps, to the haunting aftermath of nuclear devastation, each weapon represents a unique embodiment of cruelty designed to inflict death and suffering in ways both calculated and abrupt. Starting with the obvious and most powerful weapon, the atomic bomb, monumental creation forever changed the course of World War II and left an indelible mark on the world. The devastating power of the atomic bomb was unleashed upon two unsuspecting cities, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On August 6, 1945, the world witnessed the unimaginable as the Enola Gay, a B-29 Superfortress bomber, dropped Little Boy, a uranium-based bomb, on Hiroshima. In an instant, a blinding flash of light engulfed the city, releasing a searing wave of heat and unleashing an apocalyptic explosion. Three days later, on August 9, 1945, a second atomic bomb, Fat Man, a plutonium-based weapon, was dropped on Nagasaki by the B-29 bomber named Boxcar. Once again, the devastation was unimaginable, inflicting mass death and causing widespread destruction. The immediate impact of these bombs was horrific. In just a harrowing span of three days, the atomic bombs claimed the lives of 129 to 226,000 people, many of whom were civilians. The long-lasting effects extended far beyond the initial explosions, as survivors faced radiation sickness, long-term health issues, and the psychological scars of witnessing such unprecedented horror. The use of the atomic bomb also sparked a contentious debate that continues to this day. While some defend the bombings as a necessary means to swiftly end the war and save lives in the long run, others raise profound moral and ethical concerns about the indiscriminate mass destruction unleashed. Second on our list is mustard gas, also known as sulfur mustard, which became a feared tool of warfare during World War II. Several military units deployed this cruel weapon, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. Despite the Geneva Protocol of 1925 and subsequent agreements denouncing their use after World War I, both the Axis and Allied forces utilized mustard gas in World War II. Notably, the German armed forces, including the Wehrmacht and elements of the feared SS, deployed this inhumane weapon against their adversaries. One similar incident also occurred during the Italian invasion of Abyssinia, Ethiopia, in 1935. Italian forces under Mussolini's regime employed mustard gas against Ethiopian soldiers, causing large-scale blindness and casualties. In another incident on December 2, 1943, a German air attack sank 17 merchant ships in the Italian port of Bari. One of the ships carried a secret cargo of 100 tons of mustard gas bombs. When the bombs were hit, they exploded, releasing sulfur mustard into the harbor and the air. The mustard gas had a devastating impact, causing injuries and fatalities among soldiers and civilians in the area. As we delve deeper into the darkest weapons of human society, the gas chambers of concentration camps stand as haunting reminders of the depths of human depravity. Between 1942 and 1945, within the confines of these chambers, innocent men, women, and children fell victim to an unimaginable fate. Cyclone B, a pesticide turned into a weapon, was the agent of their destruction. As the Zyklon B pellets were released, a lethal cloud engulfed the chambers leading to an agonizing death by asphyxiation. The orchestration of these atrocities was carried out by military units and organizations such as the SS, Schutzstaffel, and Einsatzgruppen. The scale of these mass killings is staggering. It is estimated that approximately 6 million Jews, along with millions of others, perished within the suffocating walls of these chambers. The names Auschwitz, Treblinka, 
and Sobibor echo through the annals of history as places of unspeakable horror. The walls of these chambers bear the haunting testimony of unbearable suffering. Scratches etched into the concrete stand as silent witnesses to agonizing and painful deaths. Each mark a desperate plea for mercy, etched in a futile attempt to escape the impending doom. Moving on, we stumble upon the Japanese Unit 731 and their twisted pursuit of biological weapons. In their clandestine facilities, unimaginable atrocities unfolded as innocent human subjects became victims of heinous experiments designed to unleash death and destruction. These malevolent weapons of biological warfare were wielded by Unit 731 in their pursuit of scientific knowledge with no regard for the sanctity of human life. From 1937 to 1945, under the command of General Shiro Ishii, biological agents such as plague, anthrax, and cholera were cultivated and refined, ready to be unleashed upon unsuspecting populations. Their experimentation inflicted excruciating pain and suffering as an estimated 200,000 and 300,000 individuals were killed by their vile experiments. Fifth on our list are weapons used by the Einsatzgruppen. With ruthless efficiency, the Einsatzgruppen executed their victims on a massive scale. From the forests of Belarus to the streets of Lithuania, the echoes of gunfire filled the air as millions were ruthlessly gunned down. These mass shootings were carried out with an arsenal of deadly firearms, including the infamous Walther PPK pistols, MP40 machine guns, and Carabiner 98K rifles. These weapons wielded with cold precision ensured swift and merciless executions. One haunting incident occurred in Babi Yar, Ukraine, where over 33,000 Jews were massacred in just two days. The Einsatzgruppen units like Einsatzkommando 4A and Einsatzkommando 11 evoke a sense of dread, leaving an indelible mark of terror upon the pages of history. Amidst the fiery chaos of World War II, another weapon emerged that struck fear into the hearts of soldiers. The flamethrower. This devastating tool of destruction harnessed the power of fire to burn enemies to death. With names like the M2 flamethrower and the Japanese Type 93, these weapons became synonymous with horror. The all-consuming inferno unleashed by flamethrowers inflicted physical agony and ignited deep-seated terror in the minds of its victims. Witnessing comrades and surroundings reduced to ash left an indelible mark on the psyche of soldiers and civilians alike. One chilling incident where flamethrowers were used occurred during the Battle of Iwo Jima in 1945. The U.S. Marines, armed with their iconic M2 flamethrowers, unleashed torrents of fire upon fortified Japanese positions, forcing the enemy to confront an agonizing choice – surrender or be consumed by flames. Next on our list is suicide weapons, where individuals willingly transform themselves into instruments of destruction. Yes. We are talking about the Japanese. Bonsai charges and kamikaze attacks became symbols of their unwavering resolve. Japanese soldiers, driven by an unyielding loyalty, charged fearlessly into the fray, armed with weapons such as the Type 99 rifle and the Type 100 submachine gun. They hurled themselves at the enemy, their bodies transformed into weapons of devastation. The kamikaze, a force to be reckoned with, took this self-sacrifice to unimaginable heights. Pilots aboard aircraft such as the Mitsubishi A6M0 and the Yokosuka MXY7 Oka willingly embarked on suicide missions. Laden with explosives, they aimed themselves at enemy ships, becoming human torpedoes in a deadly dance of destruction. In specific incidents like the Battle of Leyte Gulf, October 23 to 26, 1944, and the Battle of Okinawa, April 1st to June 22nd, 1945. The devastating impact of bonsai charges and kamikaze attacks became painfully evident. Moving on, in the depths of Nazi-infested concentration camps during World War II, a new kind of weapon emerged, one that targeted the very essence of life itself. Nazi doctors like Josef Mengele wielded their knowledge and sadistic desires to conduct gruesome medical experiments on Soviet prisoners of war. The tools of their trade were not guns or tanks, but rather scalpels, syringes, and other sinister implements of torture. Between the years of 1942 and 1945, these malevolent experiments reached their peak. Unimaginable pain, mutilation, and death 
became the norm as these doctors pushed the boundaries of cruelty. Victims, numbering in the thousands, were subjected to experiments involving infectious diseases, sterilization, freezing, and even the notorious twin experiments. Approximately 1.1 million lives were mercilessly claimed by these abominable medical experiments, turning individuals into mere casualties of scientific sadism. Ninth on our list is the Japanese Imperial Army's reign of terror upon innocent Chinese civilians, transforming rape into a peculiar weapon of war, strategically employed to instill fear and terror in the enemy ranks. From December 13, 1937 to January 1938, this gruesome spectacle unfolded within the city walls. The streets of Nanking ran red with blood, and an estimated 430,000 people were killed. Amidst the chaos, Japanese soldiers armed with rifles such as the Type 38 Arisaka and the Type 99 tore through the city, leaving a trail of devastation in their wake. But it was not just firearms that served as instruments of terror. The systematic use of bayonets, swords, and other close-range weapons intensified the horror, magnifying the suffering inflicted upon the defenseless. An estimated 20 to 80,000 Chinese women were raped. The 10th and 16th Divisions of the Imperial Army, along with the 6th Division's 9th Brigade, carried out unspeakable atrocities. The Rape of Nanking stands as a chilling reminder of the horrors that arise when the brutality of war merges with the darkest aspects of human nature. The last on our list is a weapon that is aimed not to maim or kill swiftly, but to inflict prolonged torment on its victims. Starvation. This insidious weapon required no guns or tanks, but rather the deliberate withholding of sustenance. During World War II, the Germans weaponized starvation deliberately subjecting Soviet prisoners of war to a cruel fate. These prisoners were systematically denied adequate food and water, leading to severe malnutrition, emaciation, and ultimately death. It was a slow and agonizing demise, where some prisoners were driven to the desperate act of consuming their fellow comrades in a desperate bid to survive. The German military units responsible for these heinous acts included the Wehrmacht and the SS. Specific incidents, such as the Siege of Leningrad 1941 to 1944, stand as a chilling testament to the extent of suffering endured. The blockade of the city resulted in the deaths of over one million people due to starvation and malnutrition. And there you have it, the horrifying truth behind some of the most sinister weapons used during World War II. This is History on Fleek, and we'll see you next time.